All right, hello. Uh, this will be my second video on uh, Silent Hill speedrunning, and for this, I'm going to cover the entirety of the 80% routes, which is the new game easy category. Uh, we can cover other categories in future videos, but for now, I'm going to um, go over the entire game um, in a superficial kind of way. And we're just going to cover the routes. So after you're done with uh, setting up your controls and kind of familiarize with them, uh, the first thing that you really need to know is essentially where to go, or well, the routes of the game. So we're going to cover very superficially. I'm not going to cover the sp any specific strats um, on this video, and I'm going to cover the entire game. I'm just going to tell you where to go and things like uh, solutions for puzzles and so on okay so we're going to cover the entire game in this video I don't want to go too much into detail uh, because if uh, otherwise it would be too uh, uh, it would be too long it would be a too long of a video so uh, this will probably already be a couple hours uh, even if I go quickly so we're going to um, take it easy and I'm just gonna start right now so uh, for any percent for the main category of this game we're going to play on easy difficulty um, and I'm going to start right away uh, the first thing that you're going to do you're going to mash your skip button to skip a cutscene and there's another cutscene here uh, that's going to happen after this load and this one, you are not going to skip until Harry uh, walks forward five times. This actually saves uh, in game time, and I'm going to talk about this more in um, the next video when I'm going to cover this first part of the game more into detail. But just know that if you walk, if you let Harry walk inside of a cutscene, you are saving in game time, and that's the method that we time our uh, speed runs. So. Um, I'm going to go more into more detail on that. Okay, so I'm going to actually soft reset and show again, real quick. But I'm not gonna do that like anymore. Uh, so skip the first cutscene and then, like once again, let Harry walk four steps forward, five steps forward. Sorry. And then you're gonna just run forward. That's all you're gonna do. Just run forward, and then you're gonna hit this cutscene as soon as possible. Uh, this cutscene is unskippable. We do have a pre rendered cutscene here with Cheryl that we can't skip. Uh, this one, so you just go ahead Cheryl? and skip it. Is that Cheryl? And this you're going to hear a lot throughout the game. Uh, uh, on your attempts, if you grind this game, I mean. Where are you going? Because this is an uns uh, unskippable cutscene. Hey, wait! Uh, Stop. after this cutscene, so we're going to go a little bit to the right. Um, in one, imp in yeah, the reason why so we are going after Cheryl and we don't want to hit the sidewalk, uh, because if you hit the sidewalk, you're going to hit uh, uh there are two cutscenes that you can hit. If you will go into the sidewalk and hit the cutscene there, if you, if you are in the sidewalk, uh, you're going to hit the um, a cutscene where Harry would just look and share will appear but if you are not in the sidewalk you're going to hit the correct cutscene where Harry is going to walk uh, run to, uh, in towards the um, the alleyway inside of a cutscene and this saves in game time as well those two strategies are essentially uh, strategies to save in game time right at the beginning of the game I'm going to cover those like more in depth in the next video but for now all you need to know is don't uh, walk into the sidewalk in this section right here. So you go a little bit, a little bit to the right. And there's the sidewalk, and yeah, try to be close to it like this, but not don't 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 go in the sidewalk. And now all you're gonna do here is go forward. I'm gonna essentially give your directions here. So you're gonna go forward in the end of this alleyway here. Uh, there's a uh, gate here, this one, so you're gonna go to your left. And here it's pretty linear, this is the nightmare section of the game as we call it. 
so this is a pretty linear section you just follow the rounds I'm going to cover the movement I'm going to cover all you do in the next video so don't worry too much about it um, we're going to go into detail in the in the next videos when I'm going to cover each specific part of the game right now I'm just gonna give you the route okay so this is a pretty linear part there's nowhere to go here and just go through the the um, the gates again and what another linear part here just follow follow the route here uh, when you hit this bed you go and go to the right of it like, kind of like that it was kind of bad and uh, here by the end of the nightmare I'm going to have uh, the intentional death uh, you, ha you, you essentially have to die here um, there's no escape from those enemies and Harry's gonna wake up in the cafe and uh, uh, here we have a few strategies to uh, essentially die as fast as we can and once again we're going to cover them uh, in depth in the next video so yeah the important part is that you're going to you want to die What's here as this? soon as possible that's all you need What's to know and this is RNG by the way I can actually yeah this is good RNG I got grabbed back very soon so all here you just take the death that's the nightmare it's the first portion of the game and Harry's gonna wake up in the cafe you're going to pick up a few items here I'm not going to go too much in depth about it so I'm just gonna take the items so first off you're going to take those uh, f the flashlights and the map you can also take the health drink if you want but it's not necessary in here you're, you're gonna take the kitchen knife those are the um, those are the necessary items to progress. You can pick up the health drinks if you want, um, but I'm not gonna pick them up. They are not mandatory. That's the word I was looking for. Um, here we're going to have a fight with an enemy that's gonna come through the window, an air screamer. So we bring up the menu and equip the handgun and just shoot him down. He should die in like five shots. Oh, he died in four shots. That's good RNG. This I'm going to cover me. this uh, later as well in another place? video, next video. And after killing the ice cream, we're going to pick up the pocket radio and leave the cafe. Yeah, and that's pretty much the first part of the game down. Uh, now you're going to use your skip button to skip this. And here we're going to go uh, pick up the uh, keys to Eclipse and we're going to start going to the right. So now is a good time to talk about uh, the directions that I'm going to give you. They're always from Harry's point of view. They're always from your controller point of view. Never from the camera point of view, okay? So, uh, this is the camera's left, okay? But this is actually Harry's right because Harry is facing the camera. So you're going to go to your right, to Harry's right. So always take your controller always take Harry's point of view this game uses the same controls so if you're gonna if you're going right it's always to the characters right and left and up and down and so on okay uh, never take the camera as your point of view when I'm talking left and right I might mess up a couple of times during the entire video and if I do forgive me but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do this in one take so I'm not even. I'm. I'm actually using a console. I'm not using an emulator. And it's also important thing to uh, say. Um, turn off your pause whenever speedrunning this game. It's pretty important because the in-game time is um, ticking if the pause is on. So I'm just having pause here for uh, tutorial purposes and to show things. But with that out of the way, we're going to leave the cafe and go to Harry's right. Okay. And we're gonna keep here in the sidewalk. Take this route here. And then we're gonna go to the right again. Oh, damn. <laughs> Not like that, but yeah. Kind of like that. So we're staying in the sidewalk. And we're gonna go uh, to the right once again to the alleyway. But uh, like here. And we're gonna keep on the right here. Because we wanna enter in this. Um, this uh, gates and this cart, um, this back basketball cart. So there you go. And this is the first. This is where the first key is located. 
quick turn out of this, go through the gates, now we're gonna go to the left, and we're essentially kind of going back from to the to the streets where we come from, and I'll, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go now to the right after coming from the alley, and maintain ourselves here in the sidewalk. This is the same streets that we were uh, after we turned for the first time. Sorry if this is confusing, okay? Uh, now we're just gonna go straight forward. We'll take a little bit to the left here. We're gonna go straight forward because there's at the end of the streets there is a um, there is a police car and in this uh, police car you've got another key here. Okay, so we're gonna pick up the key, quick turn, and go back. Okay, and now we're gonna take the left. And hit in the sidewalk here, I'm gonna take the left here. Alright. So here's an important thing to know. We are on the left side of the uh, of the streets of the road, and we're going to go to a point on the right side of the road. And so the best way of doing it is slowly going, gradually going from the left to the right, okay? So, in this way you're going from point A to point B in the shortest possible distance. So take a look on how I'm going to move through this street and to other parts of the game where you're going to essentially cross the other side of to the other side of the streets to the other side of the road, but you do it gradually because it's essentially faster, right? So after this I'm going to go gradually, gradually to the to the right side of the streets, okay? Kinda like that, yeah. And there you go. At the end of this street here, uh, at the end of this sidewalk, we have a plank. This plank here on the ground, okay? It's actually not really on the ground, but it, it takes us to the other side of the collapsed, um, collapsed road. And there is a key uh, on the left side of your screen, right? So we're going to pick up the key on the mailbox, okay? Ah, not, not like that, but yeah. Going to dodge this guy if you need. And now we're going to go to the left. And now we're just gonna go forward. In the end of the streets here, uh, in the end of the road here, we have, um, we have some papers on the ground and we're going to collect them. They are pretty important. Um, they read Dog House, Living Streets, and we're going to uh, pick up, pick them up. And after that, Harry will check the Dog House and Living Streets, and we can pick up the key inside of that Dog House. So that's how you do it. Uh, and it's important to maintain yourself uh, on the left side of this uh, road here. I'm gonna go over that in more detail later as well, but uh. As you are in this uh, in this crossroads here or whatever, uh, you're going to start going to the right because you're you're starting to hit, reach the end of the road here, right? So when you see the camera change like this, you can just go straight to the paper, okay? And uh, kind of like that, yeah. And you pick up the paper, and now you're gonna go right and forward just a little bit. Like that, kind of going back, but you're going to the other side of the road. So essentially we did this, you know, and now we're going to go to uh, our left here. We're going to take Levin Street. This is actually Levin Street, so. We're going to be here on this line. And we're going to go left here to the doghouse. We're going to pick up the key instead of the doghouse. And we're going to enter this house here, okay? And now we're just gonna go to uh, the back door of the house where you've got the three locks. And we already have the three keys. And after this, you've got um, the game. Um, the town of Silent Hill is getting dark again. So you have your flashlight on. In this uh, backyard of the house, you just go to this little, um, little gates there. Little door or whatever. And you're going to take your left, so now we are effectively going to the school, okay? So I like to turn off my flashlights here because I don't want to aggro this air screamer. And after that, 
Uh, after we leave the alley, we go to our right. We're going to take the street here. And at the same time, we're crossing to the other side of the streets. And we're taking the left of this road. So, uh, watch this. We're going kind of straight. Always like, like in, in this way. Gradually crossing to the other side of the street. So, we essentially took our right and then took the left of it. Okay, this is Midwish Road, I believe. Um, but we did in a more uh, smooth kind of way, so uh, it it is essentially faster. You're you're not you're going like you're you're take it, it. How can I explain this? You're going if you're going like smoothly, you know, you're not uh, walking that many steps. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that I cannot explain that well, but but you do it kind of like that way, okay? And you you end up in this sidewalk here on the left side of the road. And you gotta keep it here. You really wanna lose the aggression of this air screamer. But once again, I am slowly crossing the road to the other side, okay? Because on the other side of the road is where the school is at. And we wanna go there, so. We're just slowly, gradually going to the other side. There's another screamer here in this crossroads. I'm going to turn off my lights again. Whenever you turn off your lights, whenever you turn off your lights, you are uh, de aggroing those air screamers. And those uh, turning off your flashlights is very important to. Um, uh, to lose aggression, not only lose aggression for enemies, but not trigger aggression uh, on other enemies or not pre aggro those enemies whenever you enter a room. So, the school is very important to turn off your lights in certain rooms, and I'm going to cover that in a future video. Don't worry about it. Um, here's just the rouse, and after those cars, you, you can uh, go really to the right because you're approaching the school, and whenever you see this bush here. Okay, this is the entrance of the school, so we're going to um, you're going to essentially hug this this part of the the this part of the the, the sidewalk here, right? Because you're you're essentially going to go with the um with the bushes there, and there's the doors for the school, so we're going to take the right door there because it's the closest one, right? And you're in the school. Sorry if my explanation's not the best, okay? Here in this first room, use your analog stick so you can run all the way. Yeah, you just go forward, and now you're gonna go forward again to this next door. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn off my lights here. Here you are in the courtyard, and all you're gonna do is go forward. I have to dodge this guy. I turned on my lights too early there, but it's okay. So all you're gonna do is go forward to the next door. Okay, and after this door, we're going to take our uh, left. We're gonna go. We're gonna go right left to the next double door. Okay. So going, uh, going left like that. I'm, I'm just, I'm not gonna bother like actually taking the better route here. I'm just gonna be with the lights on for the entire time or as much as I can, and dodge those enemies. Uh, but we're gonna take this door here in front of me, this double door. Okay. I'm gonna go to the second floor, up the stairs to the second floor, and we're gonna go to the double door here close to the stairs okay I'm gonna take the first door to the left okay this is the second floor and here on the um, on this room I think it's lab lab storage room I think uh, there's the chemical this item here we're going to pick up the chemical quick turn get out of the room and go to the first room in the left this one here and this is the room with the statue of the hand you see there okay don't have to check this so we're going to bring up your menu and going to go to your chemical and use it skip the cutscene and then you can take the gold medallion quick turn and leave the room we're gonna go to the right to this double door where we came from down the stairs here where we came from uh, towards this double door here where we came from we're essentially going back to the courtyard okay I'm gonna 
go to this door here and again back to the courtyard and now we're going to go to the clock tower so from that door you go forward and a little bit to the left and you should be like this on the clock tower okay you're gonna bring up your menu here and use the gold medallion on the corresponding spot okay I'm gonna quick turn so yeah I just go to the right of those bushes I'm going to talk about the threats later okay but we're essentially going back to the double door where we came from uh, to go to the clock tower okay same one and now we're gonna go to the left again okay this double door again we're gonna go to the second floor again okay same thing but instead of going to the double door there that we took uh, to go to 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 go get the gold medallion we're just gonna go straight uh, on the hallway and I like to use my camera here to see where I'm going and also to look at this guy here and here at the end of it at the end of the hallway there is a double door to our left so we're going to unlock it and we're going to go through it like this and now we're going to go to the first door off the right this is the music room and here we've got the piano puzzle okay so the solution for the piano puzzle and for all the puzzles in this game is quite simple and it's um, always the same there is no RNG in this puzzle there is no RNG in any puzzles in this game okay so um, and also uh, use your analog stick for the puzzles okay uh, because it's faster than using your d-pad so this is the d-pad look how slow it is and this is the analog stick it's actually much faster okay so to the solution uh, from left to right okay the left to right is my reference the second key the second white key sorry this one the second to last white key the last black key uh, the how, how do you say it? it's like third to last uh, white key this one okay um, third from right to left oh, I okay that's a different reference but you guys get it which key it is okay and then the first black key okay that's the solution for the puzzle and then you get rewarded with the silver medallion uh, so take the silver medallion leave the room and here we're gonna go to the right across the hallway and you have to dodge those guys here as well but yeah it's pretty okay so we're gonna take this double door and we're going to go to the right again you also have to dodge this oh this enemy here um, I'm gonna go down the stairs from here okay down the stairs and we're going to open unlock and open this door here in front of the stairs this double door here okay and we're going to go to our right to this double door here forward and right and we are in the courtyard again and from here if you go straight to the right like this you'll hit the clock tower okay so we're gonna hit the clock tower but we are hitting it from the side where this the silver medallion slots at uh, so we just uh, use the silver medallion on the clock tower bring up a menu use the sub silver medallion a quick turn out of this and we're gonna go through the same door same double door as uh, that we just went through and we're going to take the left here okay we're gonna go to the left to this double door I'm gonna go right down the stairs here right and down the stairs we're going to the basement of the school to this door here this is the boiler room okay and we're going to turn on the boiler and that's going to unlock the clock tower the clock tower door in the middle leave the, the boiler room go up the stairs gonna go back to the clock tower so go up the stairs go through this door okay go to the right to this door we're in the courtyard now now go to the right in the clock tower but now we're going to go up the little 
staircase here. Um, to the middle of it, there's a door. So we're gonna open the door. And now we're gonna go forward down the stairs here. Okay, forward. Unlock the door. Go up the stairs. And there's... There we go. We're in the other world school, essentially. Just like that. It's all you gotta do. So we're again and kind of the same part in the courtyard again but now we're in the other world school so we're going to go from where uh, we spawn in the cutscene we're gonna go to the right and forward to this double door and from this door we're going to take we're going to go a little bit to the right and take this single door here we're gonna go to the right again we're in the hall we're gonna go to the right again to the other door of the hall here and then to the first door of the left this one we're in the classroom here and there's a picture card in this classroom you gotta take the picture card I'm gonna go through this door here close to those chairs okay I like to use my L2 button it's the camera button uh, to have a good view of the rooms as soon as I um, as soon as I enter a room so I'm essentially holding the button right now and I can view the room a little bit better right uh, otherwise your camera view is going to be much worse of each of those classrooms and that's pretty important so we're just going to go forward into the right a little bit forward into the right taking this route between those chairs and if you do that you're going to hit this door here which is the door that you want to go and you're going to go to the door um, uh, forward to this this double door here okay uh, so always when you're going to, uh, when you are entering a room uh, it's pretty important to have your uh, camera button if you want because that can give you a much better view of the room and you press and hold it so yeah go through this door and now we're gonna go to the end of this hallway I'm gonna dodge those enemies okay if I can and to the end of this hallway right at the end to right to the left like I, I went through there's this little uh, entrance here this is like the reception um, where would be the reception of a normal school and in this little entrance there's like this this door here this this doorway kind of thing so we're just gonna go forward and then to the left to the, to this doorway and um, we're going to uh, hit this door here so we're gonna go through it and now we're gonna go forward and to the right into this thing here and this is actually a door but you have to unlock it with your picture card so we're gonna bring up the menu and use the picture card there you go and you open the door and now you've got two doors in front of you the one to the left and the one to the right okay and you want to go to the one to the right the one where there's uh, blood on the floor and this is uh, the bathroom where you pick up your shotgun so there's also this uh, amazing cutscene here and on the floor on the floor there's a shotgun and we're going to pick up the shotgun this is very important and we're going to use the shotgun for the entire run after this okay. pick up the shotgun quick turn out of the bathroom and we're gonna we're gonna go to the left to the first door of the left this one okay so we were in this door and now we are here this is another classroom so I like to use my camera here to have a good view of it and we're gonna go to the right and forward again and hit the, the door on the other side of the classroom this door here okay and the same thing right and forward to hit the door on the other side of the classroom but here we're gonna have a f the phone call cutscene right so we skip this cutscene quick turn away from the from the telephone and now we're gonna go through this door okay that we just try to go through open it and there's a door right in front of us we're gonna go through it we're gonna unlock and go through it and now you want to take the first door to the left, right here. This is the storage room, and we got a rubber ball. Pick up the rubber ball, quick turn, and go through the door again. Now go to the first door in the right. 
so I'm sorry if I am going a little bit too fast through the game but this is the approach that I want to take uh, to this tutorial in the next tutorials I'm going to uh, teach like a, a very detail how you move through these rooms like with save states and, and all of that like uh, explaining room by room little by little but here I want gi to gi give like a, a quick rundown on the entire game on the entire route uh, as it is uh, as it is updated today so uh, sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast but there will be more videos um, explaining like in 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 uh, a lot of detail and a lot in depth uh, the entirety of the school and how to dodge those enemies how to use their flashlights and so on okay but for now we're just gonna keep going through really quickly through the game and um, let's continue without further ado so from the previous door okay, well, okay we're gonna go to the right and up the stairs and we're gonna go up the stairs again to the roof of the school like this and now we're just gonna go forward to this door here okay the roof door to the right from the roof door to the right okay and we're going to actually check this hole here okay now from this there's a key there and we need the, this key so we're gonna go to the left and forward and there's another hole here you don't need to check this hole so when you hit this when you get get this uh, get close to this hole you're gonna bring up your menu and you're going to do in only one menu you're going to equip your shotgun okay and you're going to equip the rubber ball in the same menu that's much better okay because you're gonna need the shotgun and this is the last menu before you need the shotgun I'm gonna use the rubber ball in this hole I'm gonna go to the left where's the valve and I'm gonna turn on the valve and this is gonna make the, the key flush down uh, the that hole that it was stuck and we're going to go down to the courtyard to pick it up essentially it is pretty simple this is like a mini puzzle to pick up uh, this first key and going to the roof first is actually faster you can potentially go to the locker room first where there's the other key and then go to the roof but that's a little bit slower like by one second or two okay so go to the roof first so from the valve you're gonna quick turn go forward a little bit to the right because there's like this giant hole here and you really don't wanna uh, get blocked by this uh, gap here so yeah gonna go to through this door here is the same door as uh, we entered the roof so we're gonna go through this door down the stairs forward and down the stairs again to the first floor I'm gonna go through this double door here right in front of you and to the double door on your right this one to the courtyard now we're gonna go to the left okay and here in this corner you see the key is right here there's a classroom key and now we're just gonna go back oh, to this uh, door where we came from oh another grab you want to be grabbed like that uh, and we gotta go to this door here so it's to our left okay to the left or of the door where we came from up the stairs to the second floor again but now instead of going to the roof we're going to go forward through this hallway this is the so there is the stairs to the roof uh, to Harry's right but now there is a door here after the stairs and we're going to take this door and now um, if you're using your camera you can easily navigate through this room we're going to go to the left and then forward to the other side of the room there's a door okay oh, kinda like kinda like that it was sloppy but there's the door there's the door we're gonna do the same thing in this room, but before we go through the door, you wanna pick up the shotgun shells in the way, okay? 
This is very. This is mandatory. You need to pick up this box of shotgun shells. Uh, you, we're only going to pick up two boxes of shotgun shells in the entire game for this rouse, if you do it properly. And this is the first one. Okay, it's right on the way. Go through the door. Now there's another door right in front of us. We go through this door as well. And now we're just gonna go forward in this in this um, hallway, and we're going to take the second door to the right. The first door is behind us, which would be the music room, and this here, this here is the second door. This is the locker room door, okay? So we're gonna open it, and we're gonna navigate through this room here, and we're going to open this bloody locker here. So there's nothing in the locker, and now you're going to strafe to your left, like this, and the jump scare happens. And with a jump scare, you've got your library reserve key. So now you've got both keys uh, needed to progress to the game to get to split head the first boss of the game. So you're going to leave the rocket room, go to your left and forward to the end of the hallway to this double door where we came from. Now we're going to go to the door forward where we came from. So we're essentially backtracking through the classrooms that we came from okay so once again to the other side of the classroom right and forward it forward and right to the other side of the classroom to this door and forward to this double door after that now we're gonna go forward in to the last door on our left the single door here and this is the library reserve door uh, so we open, unlock it, open, forward and right to this door over here, right and forward to this door over here, left to the first door here, and you unlock the classroom, okay? And once again, we're going to take the right and forward to the other side of the classroom, right and forward. Oh, and dodge this guy to this door over here, okay? And again, right and forward to the other side of the room, okay? Pretty easy. Pretty easy. I'm going to go left, okay? Down the stairs here. And we're going to go down the stairs again here to the um, basement of the school and we're gonna go to the boiler room to our right okay and in this room you got the valve puzzle okay so the valve puzzle is actually pretty straightforward you're gonna go first to the valve of the right uh, the solution for the puzzle is you turn the valve of the right two times to the left and you turn the valve of the left once to the right okay so we're gonna go to the valve of the right turn the valve left once twice and then you're gonna leave and then you can strafe like this to the valve of the left and you're gonna turn this one to the right. Valve of the right twice to the left. Valve of the left once to the right. Okay. And then your way is open to split head. It is very important that you have the shotgun equipped at this point. So it is ideal that you equip the shotgun uh, while you're using the rubber ball, like back there at the roof. Okay. That's why we kept equipped the shotgun. Because this is the first boss of the run, and this boss is actually pretty easy. Um, this boss can insta-kill you if he swallows you in the second phase. You don't want that because you die. Uh, so you skip this cutscene, and I'm gonna run to the boss. So here's how you kill on, on any percent on New Game Easy. You're gonna run up to it, you're gonna shoot it three times, three times on the head, and it's gonna 
uh, do a drooling animation and the music's gonna change uh, that signifies that it's changing to the second phase and whenever and it's gonna open his mouth in the second phase and whenever it opens his mouth you're just gonna shoot it two times inside of the mouth with the shotgun and he's dead that's the fastest way of doing it and that's all you have to do three and then you walk up to him and then he's gonna open his mouth one two and he's dead it's simple as that you don't have to do anything else this is how you quick kill split head okay and that's pretty much this cooldown it's pretty much it oh uh, you've got a couple cutscenes here you want to skip the cutscene with Alyssa and this cutscene here and you're back at the uh, normal school you're back at the bo uh, boiler room okay after split head so there's a key on the floor there okay in front of the boiler so you're gonna go forward right the key uh, kinda messed it up but you get the idea you're gonna take the K Gordon key and you go to the to your left to this door and now we're, we're going to essentially leave the school okay so up the stairs yeah, there's this cutscene where Harry realizes that there is a church bell, so we're gonna go to the church, okay? So skip the cutscene, quick turn, and now we're gonna go up left to this door here, okay? Unlock this door, and once again, forward and left to this double door, so we're leaving the school, and forward to one of those uh, doors here, and unlock them. And that's Midway School, okay? And now we're gonna go to the church to see who is ringing the bell. So forward, okay, only forward. I strain the camera with my uh, LC button. A little bit to the right, a little bit to the right. So we're gonna cross the road and be on this next sidewalk here. Forward and forward and forward. Maintain yourself to this uh, sidewalk. And now there's this alleyway here, okay, this alley. You're going to take it, you're gonna go left, slowly going through to the other side of the alley. Cause uh whenever there's this dog here, okay, uh you're going to turn right because there's an entrance there to a backyard of a house. This one, okay? So we're going to open this this fence and now we're just gonna Unlock this uh, door here with the K Gordon key that we picked up in that boiler room, and it's the same as the Levy Street house. You just go forward like this, pretty easily to this door here. Now we're gonna go forward and right, okay? We're gonna cross the road. Might be a couple of air screamers here that we might need to dodge, but. So cross the road, going to the right, and now we're gonna maintain ourselves in this sidewalk to the left, to the left, because we're going to take a uh, uh, alley here to the left. This one, oh, <laughs> this one. And there's a few air screamers here. There are two air screamers in this alley, so we can dodge those guys. I'm gonna teach how to dodge those air screamers in uh, future videos. Another one there. So now we're gonna go slowly to the right and now we're going to turn at the end of this alley we're going to turn into our right like this and we're gonna be in this um, the sidewalk here okay there you go so after this uh, crossroads here you're going to have the church right here okay this is the church and we're going to enter the church here just like this pretty easy now we're gonna have a uh, pre-rendered cutscene with Dahlia. And we have another cutscene with Dahlia, the actual cutscene. Were you ringing that? Okay. And you're gonna after after you skip the cutscene, you're gonna be in this position. So you're gonna go to up and right here like this. And there are two items that you have to pick up. The first one's the flowers, and the second one is a drawbridge key. After that, you quick turn and just go forward back. To the entrance of the church, okay? This door is quite tricky to open, but we're gonna talk about opening doors later. From here, you're gonna go to the right. 
like this. And we're going to follow the same way as we were uh, going, okay? So right of where we were. And we're going to keep following the road in the sidewalk here. We're going to maintain ourselves in the sidewalk. I'm gonna go forward for a little bit. We're going to lower the bridge, so we're going to enter the draw bridge control room, which is one of the hardest rooms in the game, actually. Uh, I'm going to teach how to do that room properly once again in another video. But uh, once you hit this uh, this little um, this little room there, you know, on my right, I'm going to go up the stairs to uh, this room here, okay? This this door here. We open the door, and here there's a pretty hard strat. But you essentially want to go to this control panel here, bring up the menu, go a little bit to the right on your menu, and there's the drawbridge key. You're gonna use the drawbridge key on the control panel. The machinery is running. You press the switch, and that's gonna lower the bridge to Central Silent Hill. Where is Alchemilla Hospital, our next destination? Quick turn after the little cutscene and just get out of the room. And leave, go down the stairs, and now we're gonna go uh, with the bridge. Okay? So we're gonna go to Alchemilla Hospital essentially. Follow the bridge, go forward, and now we're gonna. Go to the right in the next street. I'm gonna go right, 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 like this. And we're going to cross the, to the other side of the road. Oh, not, uh, not like that, but slowly, again, gradually. And we're also taking the left here. And this is where Alchemilla Hospital is, okay? This is the entrance of the gate. And this is the entrance of the hospital, so after the gate you go to, the, to your uh, right, okay? And there you go. So, in the beginning here, I'm gonna go forward and to the left, to this first door here, to your left. And here you're gonna meet Kaufman, okay? And there's a cutscene with Kaufman. I'm gonna skip the cutscene. Harry's gonna fa be facing uh, from gonna face in the door where Kaufman left on that cutscene so gonna quick turn after the cutscene and go to the other side of the room to this door here you will quick turn and go to the other side and in this room is pretty linear this room is pretty linear just go to this door and now we've got a few doors here okay so uh, you go there's this first the second the third door so we're gonna go left, okay, to this door here. It's the door on the right side of this double door. So there's this double door and there's this single one, okay? So we're gonna go through this door here. And this is pretty linear. Go to the next room to the right. And you're gonna go around the stable here like this. And pick up the basement key. Yes. Now we're gonna go out, okay? out of this room again, to the left, and now we're gonna go to the first room to our right. So it is now finally this double door here. This is uh, the kitchen. And I'm gonna go a little bit to the right and forward to the end of this and pick up a plastic bottle, it's pretty important. Quick turn, get out of the room, go to our right again, to the next door to the right. And here you're gonna go ahead and bring up the menu as soon as you hit this uh, puddle of uh, red liquid. This is not actually blood, this is an uh, unknown liquid. So bring up the menu and use your plastic bottle here. And this is very important because with this, uh, the, re the result of this, uh, you have the unknown liquid, right? And we're going to use this to save Sybil. Saving Sybil is faster, but we're also going to abuse the glitch uh, to make it even faster, okay? Uh, and skip the entirety of the amusement park, in which we call amusement park skip, or Sybil skip, or Sybil glitch, whatever you want to say, okay? 
so this is ver a very important step in your run so we're gonna quick turn away out of the room and once again one room first room to your right use the basement key and you're gonna go down the basement this door you're gonna go first door to your left okay this one you're gonna go forward this is the generator room you're going to turn on the generator after the generator is on you're gonna quick turn and go to the door leave and now we're gonna go to the right to the elevator so we turn on the generator to be able to use the elevator so open the elevator go to the keypad on the left side okay and I'm gonna go to the second floor here you use your analog stick instead of your d-pad okay this d-pad is analog stick always use your analog stick on this pads okay go to the second floor skip the cutscene left and check this door it's jammed it can be open quick turn and go back try the same thing on the third floor okay you cannot do it again and now go back to the elevator and all of a sudden you got a fourth floor here okay so you can go to the fourth floor so you have to check both doors to be to be able to have the fourth the fourth uh, floor to spawn okay this is not really a puzzle but this is just um the thing of the game progress of the game okay so similar like we did in the th second and third floor, we're gonna go to the left to this door, but now it's unlocked, and we are essentially in the other world hospital, as you wanna say. And all of those doors here in this uh, hallway are not, you cannot open them; they're all jammed. So you're gonna go follow the hallway here to the right, and this double door is the only one that you can open. And now it's gonna get actually really dark, and um you're going to go down the stairs okay go down the stairs like this this is the fourth floor so we're gonna go to the third floor and now so going down the stairs you're gonna go to the first door to your right it's the only door actually here okay open it and once again in this hallway first door to your right in the bathroom toilet whatever and in this toilet here, bathroom, whatever you want to call it, you have the plates of turtle. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up, quick turn, and leave. Go to the right. There's this double door here. Open it, and now we're gonna take the first door to your right. This double door here to the storage room, and you're gonna go forward to the left. Be between those shelves here and here you've got the blood pack you're gonna pick up the blood pack quick turn and leave the room and here you have those nurses um, there is a green nurse and there is a, a, a green shirt nurse and there is a um, blue shirt nurse um, that blue shirt nurse can block you sometimes and you're gonna go Essentially to the left, to the right, sorry, to the right side of this uh, hallway, there's a huge gap, so the hallway is pretty tight now, and uh, you're gonna go like this, and this blue nurse can block you sometimes, she might actually do it just as I am demonstrating the run, but she's right in front of the, she's right in front of the door that we want to go, so we're gonna open the door, this, yeah, she is doing it, <laughs> oh man. So you're gonna open this door right here, and yeah, she did the she did the meme. So I opened this this door, this one, <laughs> and in this door here, you're gonna uh, just go to the right and forward, pick up the plates of cats in the room, quick turn and leave, and you go to your right, okay? So you leave the room, go to the right to this double door here, unlock it and open it so on the third floor and now we're gonna go to the right there is our um, elevator, we're gonna take the elevator go to the pad and go to the first floor alright
So on the first floor, uh, just in case, by the way, there are a few health drinks here if you want in this vending machine. Okay, but uh, you're gonna start. Uh, you're gonna start here in the uh, elevator. So you're gonna go forward and to the left. Okay, forward and to the left. So there's one door there, uh, and this is the second door. Okay, uh, it's the door right in front of the doctor, or, or rather, the doctor will be this doctor here will be right in front of the door so for some reference okay you're gonna want to open this door here okay and you're going to pick up this item here the plate of queen okay this is the director's office I believe so you can open, pick it up and leave the room and now we're gonna go to the left and forward following the uh, hallway okay to this double door here so left forward and then to the right following the hallway to this double door I'm gonna follow the hallway here and go up the stairs to the second floor after that you're going to take the right you gotta go to the right to this double door okay go to this double door second floor and now I'm gonna take the door immediately to our left this one gonna go forward okay so here there's a lighter in the bed pick it up quick turn and leave the room okay try not to get blocked by that nurse leave the room and you're gonna go to the left to the last room here to the last room of the hallway okay all the way to the left and in this room there is a blood monster here on the ground okay this guy is sucking in some blood and behind him there is a plate and in this room actually I'm gonna go in again you can uh, go forward just for one frame here and open the menu so go forward just at least one frame okay it has to be at least one frame go forward a little bit and use your blood pack okay in this cutscene that's also unskippable here is gonna use the blood pack and lure the monster away uh, so open the way to pick up this um, plates here, plates of Hatter, okay? It's the last plate, so all these four plates that we're picking up, um, uh, this four here, they are for uh, a puzzle that's actually right very close to us. So you leave the room here with the blood monster, you're gonna go to the right, and we're gonna use those plates now, okay? So to the right of that door, okay to the room so we're gonna go to the right and follow the hallway and now it's the room to the left here okay this room here this door here and here we have this puzzle of the plates okay so gonna bring up your menu one to the right and use the plate of queen okay and you're gonna use the plate of queen on the upper left slot bring up your menu again use the plates of Hatter in the bottom right slot okay bottom right and I'll bring up the menu again use the plates of turtle in the upper right slot Another menu, like of cats, in the bottom left, okay, slots. I think this is correct, okay? <laughs> yeah, there you go. And there's the puzzle, and the door is unlocked, okay? And you can go through this door. So you unlock the door, go through the door, and now you're gonna go immediately to the door um, in front of you. And this is the room with the nurse skip. Uh, there's a nurse that we're going to actually kill. Uh, it's going to take two shotgun shells to kill the nurse and uh, there's a strat there called nurse keep I'm going to elaborate more in the next video next videos when I explain more in depth about the strats and you know the the um, uh, tricks or whatever once again so we're going to push that we're going to shoot the nurse and we're going to try to push her out of the way because she's right in front of the door that we, we want to go through 
it, so we're gonna we try to push her so we don't have to wait for her death animation to end, and that's called an error skip, okay? But sometimes it doesn't work because of RNG. Um, there's sometimes nothing you can do. So we're gonna go through this door to the left here. I'm gonna try to push the nurse like this. And this is the nurse skip, essentially. Yeah. I'm glad I could demonstrate. You can push the nurse and go and kill her with two shots, okay? Uh, and don't waste more shots. It's just only two shots in this nurse. And you can just go uh, push her a little bit, go to, the, to her left and go to this door right here, okay? And this door here, you're gonna take the basement storeroom key, like just forward and take the basement storeroom key and quick turn and go to um, this door and the reason why we need to kill the nurse here by the way before is because if we don't if we just push her she would be on our way here and there is absolutely no way to you know that luring her out of the way would be faster than killing him killing her essentially so we have to do that so Going out of the room, we go to the right, to the door where we came from initially, okay? And now we're gonna go forward to the left of this green nurse, like this, but we're gonna go to the door on our right. Never try to go to the right of this nurse. It's not faster, it's not faster because we're gonna get stuck. Uh, even if you get stuck for just a little bit, it's still not faster never do that because for one you can get stuck and lose a lot of seconds there and for two even if you don't you're still gonna hit her and still gonna be slower than going to her left so always go to her left and then go to this double door here immediately to the right okay and you're just gonna go forward pick up the disinfecting alcohol quick turn now I'm gonna go to the right to the end of this hallway here, okay? I like to take the left path here, but whatever. But we're going to open this door here. We're going to unlock this double door here, okay? At the end of the hallway. Go to the right. There's an uh, elevator here. Open the elevator. Go to the pad of the elevator and hit the basement, um, basement button. And now we're in the basement of the hospital. So in the basement, we're going to go to the left and forward to this r room here, okay? It's the basement storeroom, okay? So left and forward, and it should hit this uh, this room, the other side of the hallway, okay? I'm gonna open it up and it go through this room like this. And at the end of the room here, there's a there's a cabinet here. And you're going to push the cabinet like this, okay? To the right of the cabinet, that reveals a door behind it. So we're gonna open the door, go to the left and forward. And this is a so this is a great um, covered by vines, okay? So you have to uh, essentially burn these vines down. And the way to do that, you have the alcohol and you have the lighter. So first off, you're gonna uh, pour the alcohol on the vines. Okay. You're gonna bring up the menu again. And you're gonna use the lighter, okay. And you don't have to check the vines once again. You can just bring up the menu and use the alcohol and then use the lighter. Do not use the lighter first, okay. I'm gonna have this unskippable cutscene again. Okay, the way is open now. Go down here to the secret basement. Okay, and here in this hallway, you just go forward to this door here. Okay, just go forward. And now there, you're gonna go forward into the left, and there is like this door here. This is actually a door you can open. And now we're gonna go. So in this hallway, there are a few interesting things to look at, a few interesting doors, okay, in this creepy hallway. Uh, there are essentially six doors in the entire hallway, uh, not counting the one where we came from, okay? And we're gonna take the last door to the left of the hallway, okay? So the third door to the left of the hallway. So we're gonna go on up until the end of the hallway, 
to this here third door of the left, okay? We're gonna hit a cutscene here. What's this? After you skip the cutscene, you turn Harry a little bit to the left, okay? You don't have to do anything. You don't have to go forward. You don't have to walk. Just turn him to the left. And the reason why you turn him to the left is that you don't check this uh, Alyssa portrait here, okay? You don't want to do this because it takes time. So turn a little bit to the left because there's a key on the left of the portrait, okay? After you skip the cutscene, turn a little bit to the right, left and pick up the key. Examination room key, quick turn and leave this room to this door. Now we're gonna backtrack all the way to the first floor, okay? So we're gonna leave this hallway on this door here where it came from. So right and forward. And now we're gonna go right, right and forward again. And now we're just gonna go forward up the stairs. The basement storeroom key. We're gonna go again, forward, into the right, and we're going to go to the right. To, uh, before we do that though, we pick up the shotgun shells on the shelf, and we pick them up on the way back because they are uh, right in front of us now, and it's actually better and faster to pick them up this way, okay? So, we do this, and now we're gonna go to the right, between those shelves. Uh, on the door And from this door there are two doors here. Okay, the door to the right and the left the door to the left There are some stairs to the first uh, floor So we picked it pick it up because we're gonna go to the first floor and pick up uh, using those stairs actually faster than using the elevator, so uh, We're just gonna do that So uh, after that, there's a door. I'm gonna open it up, go to the left, and follow this hallway here. So here there is a doctor, uh, this guy here, and he is in front of a door that we cannot see right now, but it's like to our right. Uh, there, a lot of the times he's blocking you, and that's really bad. I'm gonna cover that later. Uh, but this time he behaved and he's out of the way. So you're just going to go to his right and you're going to uh, open the door here. So this door here, okay? Go to the left and forward. And now we're going to unlock the door using the examination room key. And here's the cutscene with Lisa. We see Lisa for the first time. All right. Skip this cutscene. Skip the cutscene with Lisa. There's a cutscene with Dahlia. Skip the cutscene. Was I dreaming? And now there's a key there to pick up to our left. I like strafing here. It's actually pretty good. So do not forget this key. Okay, this is the antique shop key. Uh, it's right on, on your left uh, on the table here. So pick it up. And we're pretty much done with the hospital. Now we're just gonna go to this door here. It's the door right on this, like on the side of the table. And from this door, we're gonna go to the right and follow the hallway. And here's essentially the reception of the hospital. So we're gonna leave the hospital now. And now we're gonna go to the antique shop, okay? And uh, so live in the hospital. We're gonna leave the hospital entrance here. The gates and now we're gonna go to the right and forward so right and forward like this and we're gonna cross to the other side of the of the um, road okay into this um, so we're gonna go to the left now after doing that we're gonna go to the left on this crossroads into the smaller in this uh, the smaller road here It's not as large as the other ones. Go to the other side of this. And now we're going to take the right. And we're going to cross to the other side of the road. Gradually. And after that, we're going to take the left. Take the left like this. Okay. And now, once again, we are on the left side of the road. And we need to go to the empty shop, which is on the right side of the road. So gradually we go from the left to the right side of the road. Where is the antique shop, okay? 
I'm gonna go after those posts and the trees here. We should be nearing this. Th after this mailbox here, uh, you can see the antique shop there already. Here, this is the antique shop entrance. So I'm gonna go right to the antique shop entrance here. And forward, use your analog stick here as well to run all the way, or else never's gonna walk. And you use the antique shop key here and you go into the antique shop. So you're gonna turn off your lights and you're gonna go to the left, like this, turn to the left and forward and to the right. To this cabinet here. This is a pretty tight movement, but yeah. Uh, you can do this. So another uh, cabinet pushing here. Move the cabinet. And there's going to be a cutscene with Sybil. I'm going to skip the cutscene. It's going to go through this What's hole. This? And now you're just going to go forward. To this other hole. There's a cutscene where Harry sees the altar of the antique shop. You're going to face the al be facing the altar, quick turn, and go up and to the right, back to the hole here. This will trigger another cutscene. What the? Skip this cutscene. Another cutscene to, to skip. And after this, there is... Another cutscene to skip. Was so you skip enough? three cutscenes here. And now you're in the other world anti shop. And I'm gonna go right forward and right again to this door here. And you're gonna leave the anti shop. That's all you do. So now we've got uh, we actually got the worst trick in the game, the out of bounds trick, the out of bounds glitch, the anti shop skip, however you wanna call it. I have a one hour long tutorial just in this trick covering literally everything I know about it okay this trick is very complicated I'm not going to explain on this video in the next videos I'm gonna go back to it I'm going to link the video for my tutorial uh, on this on this glitch in the description of this video it's pretty long but you can skip to the more relevant parts for you okay uh, but it covers everything that I know about this trick this trick is the biggest run killer for it might not be the biggest run killer, but it's a huge run killer in the game. Or maybe the biggest single run killer in the game for pretty much every single runner in this game, okay? This, this trick is actually pretty rough. Uh, it, it, it's really quick, and it's not actually that hard to execute. But there are a lot of nuances to this trick. There are a lot of things that can go, that can differ. And in that video, I, I teach everything that I know about it. Um, I, I think I am pretty good with this trick, so yeah, there's a lot to talk about it. But uh, we're gonna do it pretty quickly and make sure to check the video in the description if you're interested to learn everything about the out of bounds, okay? But I'm gonna, we're gonna go away and I'm going to perform the out of bounds trick here. Okay. Once you've done this trick, this is actually just... The trick itself is just a damage boost, okay? This The damage boost is the hard part. Once you do this, all you're going to do is push run and forward with your analog stick. And that's all you're going to do, okay? So by damage boosting that enemy, um, with that enemy called the Romper, when he pushes you down through that transition of scenario, you are essential, uh, that essential eliminates Harry's collision with walls, and Harry can walk through walls. And if you go forward, you will, can conveniently warp to the other side of the map, where you can fall on the roof where you fight Float Stinger. So, uh, in, in this roof here, you're not gonna fight Float Stinger just yet, but with that, with this trick, you're skipping essentially one entire minute of the speed run, you're, you're skipping um, the shopping mall, you're skipping the twin filler boss, you're skipping the second boss of the game, you can call it a mini boss, but whatever. And all the way going back to the hospital, so with just the trick, so it's a huge skip in the, in the speed run, it's like a minute faster, okay, if you get a first try, over a minute probably. 
So you go down this roof here, and you just need to go forward. And then you go down the stairs here, okay? And you're going to end up in the floor, actually, because it's pretty glitched. You're gonna quick turn and go forward, and here you are, like, in front of the hospital, pretty much. So you can just go forward to the hospital gates, because the next uh, step in the game is to talk with Lisa inside of the hospital. So to the gates to your right here, to the hospital entrance. I'm gonna follow the hallway here, to the left, to the left, first room on the left, similar to where we got gotten in the hospital for the first time, okay? Uh, similar to where we meet Kaufman, we're gonna talk to Lisa again in this door here, in this room here, okay? Harry. There you go. And now after skipping that cutscene, you leave the room, and you're gonna go to the right, follow the hallway, and leave the hospital like this. And now we're going to fight the second boss of the run. Leave the hospital gates to the left. So we're gonna go forward up the stairs here. It's the same building that we uh, dropped after doing the out of bounds glitch. So when you gotta go up the stairs, you're gonna have the second boss fight of the game. Skip the cutscene and shoot. And this boss here, it's called Float Singer, it's a giant mouth. Uh, this boss um, has damage reduction, so when you fire a shot, he has a window of seconds and, uh, of damage reduction, and after that window you can deal full damage again. Uh, so if you keep shooting the boss, spamming your shots, you're essentially dealing much less damage per shot, and that's actually slower. So, uh, because instead of dealing 500 damage, 400 damage, you're dealing 30 points of damage. It, it is that bad. So uh, what we're gonna do here? We're gonna wait, and we're gonna. I'm gonna elaborate that more in the video, but we're gonna wait uh, like one or two seconds and shoot it again. One and two seconds and shoot it again. And the best way of timing this is when you see the blood splatter and Flood Singer uh, end. So the blood's gonna splatter, and when you see that uh, stop, you know, no, there's no more blood on Flood Singer, then you know that you can shoot again. Or you can time like you shoot and strafe two steps to the right or two steps to the left, shoot and strafe, shoot and strafe, two steps and wait for the blood to stop splattering and then you can deal essentially full damage it's not exactly but essentially it is pretty optimal okay so this is why we time our shots between themselves because there's a lot of damage reduction and the further like the more you wait um, so if you wait for like two or three seconds you can deal full damage again and if you shoot it like after one second you're dealing like half of the damage and if you like keep spamming your shots you're dealing like a tenth of the net of the damage is it's a pretty drastic reduction so uh we're gonna paul uh do this took the hit no big deal shoots 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 strafe shoots strafe shoots strafe and at the same time you're dodging float singer as well and confusing her there you go After the blood splatters, you can shoot Float Singer again. And that's Float Singer dead, it's pretty easy. And I like to position myself uh, close to the stairs. Because then I can just uh, quick turn and leave the stairs, or I can just go down the stairs pretty quickly here. That's what we're gonna do. So after uh, you kill Float Singer, the world kinda turns back to normal. There's, It's not an other world anymore, so we're gonna go down the stairs. It's not normal yet, but, you know, it's a little bit better. Back to the fog... Fog thing. So, after going down the stairs to the streets of Silent Hill again, you're gonna take the right. Okay, and the side, we're gonna maintain yourself in the sidewalk, and you're gonna go to the right again, to this road here. And now we're gonna go to the sewers, the first sewers, okay? To the other side of the road. 
to the left now. So this we're essentially backtracking to Old Silent Hill. This is actually the bridge that we uh, lowered earlier. But you don't have to go all the way back to the school because the series is actually on the side of the school. But you don't have to do that. The game's gonna teleport you there. Thanks, game. And uh So you have to we wanna skip this map here. And this must be the waterworks that Lisa was talking about, okay? I'm gonna go forward here, there's a gate here. I'm gonna check the lock. So Harry notices that the lock's pretty worn out. And you can hit this lock, but the best way of doing it is using your shotgun and shoot down the lock. The lock breaks in one shot. I'm gonna open this gate here. Sorry. And you're gonna go down here the uh, stairs. So now you're in the sewers. Skip this cutscene of Harry going down the stairs, and now we're gonna go uh, to our right, okay? So right and up, right and forward to this hallway, and now we're just gonna go forward. The sewers are a pretty confusing area of the game at first, okay? So follow the directions pretty closely. If it's a little too fast, we turn like go back in the video watch it again uh, but don't worry because I'm going to do a specific videos on each section explaining them more in depth okay but now we're gonna go quickly through the series a quick rundown again so let's go going forward now in this first hallway and at the end of the hallway here uh, we're gonna go to our left and there are a few enemies that might may or may not block me uh, it's random and those are the Hanged Scratcher, their enemies pretty much unique to the sewers. And uh, I'll explain their patterns in, once again in the next videos, but we're gonna take the left here. This is actually a good pattern. And now we're gonna maintain ourselves in this uh, sidewalk. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to call this a sidewalk. Uh, it, it's not really, but I'm going to call this, okay? So let's just call it a sidewalk or whatever, okay? gonna go to the left here there's another dude that can block you and after going to the left after this dude we're going to take the bridge and cross to the other side of the of the um, of the section here of the sewers whatever so we're gonna cross the bridge here to the other sidewalk I'm gonna keep calling those sidewalks okay so we're gonna maintain ourselves here until this next bridge to the right and we're gonna cross the bridge again and go to the left after this bridge, like this. And now there's another bridge, we're going to cross it to the other side of the sidewalk. And there's a door here that we can uh, open, this door is unlocked. So this is linear, uh, there's this tube or whatever the hell this is, you gotta go behind the first one, okay, because you cannot go through. And you're gonna just take this path linearly. And you're going to go uh, in front of the second one, because it can actually go here. Like this, it's actually faster. And in this key pa uh, in this panel here, I've got a sewer key. And now we're going to go to the right. There's a door here, the gates. And now this gate here is unlocked, okay? So we are kind of back after this. We're kind of back in the first uh, part of the series, so we're essentially kind of backtracking now. And this may, this is pretty confusing. This part of the run, like, it's pretty confusing to orientate yourself here. But just follow my steps, and you should be fine. Okay. So now we're gonna go forward and maintain ourselves here. Okay. And here, uh, the sidewalk pretty much ends. So we're gonna go cross the bridge to our right like this and there will be another bridge here to our left we're gonna cross this bridge like this there's this guy a lot of the times he will block you okay it's random again so take the left and now we're gonna just follow the sidewalk don't cross any bridges for now we're gonna dodge this guy here like this so we are essentially kind of 
in the like facing well we're not facing like this let me show you this one here this is the first hallway this is the first hallway that we came from so just to I don't know why I did that but just for a little bit of context but well you're gonna be, you're gonna be facing away from it okay I hope it's not too confusing I'm sorry if it's confusing but either way you just keep going forward like like this from here okay and I'm gonna cross the other side of the bridge because there's a door here to the left okay and you're gonna need to use your sewer key here now we're gonna go forward only forward straighten your camera if you want and after like when when whenever this um sidewall kind of ends you're gonna cross the bridge here to the other side and now there's some stairs going up and you're gonna go up the stairs after this you're gonna go to the right okay there's a first aid kit if you want I might just take it actually yeah why not but you're going to start here okay so you're gonna go to the right follow this blue little bridge thing and now after this you're gonna end up in this um, it's part where there are a few hanging scratches in the in the ceiling it you're going to go forward and then to the left to this hallway here okay and now it's pretty linear for now there are a few roaches here now we're gonna get to this room here and when you get to this room you're gonna go to your right there's another hallway here and once again at the end of this hallway to the right again and you maintain yourself in the right of the section here in the room and there's a door here that you can unlock go through the door you know gonna be in the right of the room and immediately you go to the left cross to the left on this bridge here there's number three okay keep that in mind and maintain yourself in the left until you see the number one and then like there's this little blue bridge thing and then you can cross to the right because the door is to the right okay sorry once again but this is kind of complicated <sighs> Hopefully it's not too bad of an explanation, guys. So there you go. Take this door. And now you gotta go to the left. Forward into the left. Maintain yourself in the left here and open this door here. Keep going forward. And there's a spool of blood here. And in the spool of blood there is the uh sewer exit key. You pick it up, and there will be a few enemies here. And all you have to do here is quick turn and leave. Leave to your right. So we're gonna backtrack through all of those rooms that we just came through. Okay, so take the door to the right, and now forward. Go to the left after this. Take the door to your left, and now we're gonna go immediately to the right. So now you're going to maintain yourself on the right side of this hallway and you're going to see in the walls the number one, two, and three. And when you see the number three, there is a bridge in the floor here, a little bit of bridge here, and you're going to cross the bridge when you see the number three to the left. Okay? And there is a door here. This is actually the door that we came from, so we're going to go through this. And there you go gonna cross to the other side of the room here to that door where there's there's an enemy in front of the door so we have to be careful here to dodge this guy oh uh, and you're gonna use the silver as a key on that door I kind of took the hit but it's okay it's a good thing that I heal it's a good thing that I heal and now we're essentially ex at the exit of the sewers uh, and we can go up the stairs here. And that's the first sewers down. And we are in the resort area of the game. 
we are basically at the end of the game I think this video will be as long as my uh, Portuguese video was so we'll have to see where's here we're in the resort area and this is the part of the game where you can uh, take a detour to do the Kaufman side quest okay but we're not gonna do that saving Kaufman to, tr to do the good endings uh, that's a little bit slower that's like a minute slower and you can do that uh, if you're gonna go for the good plus category uh, we don't do that in this in this uh, run we're gonna do the bad plus ending it's the fastest ending so we're going to ignore the Kaufman side quest I'm going to teach how to do uh, how to speed run as well this section of the Kaufman side quest later we're gonna cover the good plus ending okay but for now we're going to focus on the any percent route so gonna go forward from the waterworks the sewer exit and after this we're gonna go to the right and we're gonna follow the sidewalk we're gonna follow this uh, little fence here there's this little fence we're gonna follow all the way through it okay follow all the way through you just go forward we're ignoring Kaufman side quest let him die and here there's a romper at the end of this I like to turn off my lights here okay to not aggro the romper I'm gonna leave my lights uh, turned on so you guys can see where I'm going but you usually should turn your lights here to not aggro this guy okay but yeah I did aggro this guy so it's following me which is not good so we're going forward and a little bit to the right of those uh, this uh, uh, posts here or whatever yeah, we're gonna take the the rise here there's a bridge to the other side of the resort area okay so we're gonna be here on the right side of the bridge there you go and just cross the bridge and here there's a cutscene here really good cutscene with the with another world transition so essentially the resort area of Silent Hill is turning to the other world here in this part of the game Okay, I like this cutscene a lot. Oh. And oh. here's essentially the late game for sure. So from this cutscene after you skip it, all you're gonna do is go forward. And I like going a little bit to the left, so I'm slowly going to the left side of the streets of the road, okay? Here we got the West Garage, I believe. And after this, yeah, West Garage. And after this, West Garage, we're going to uh, turn to the left, to the other streets. There are a few enemies here that's pretty good to dodge, like this Night Flutter here. I turn off my lights here to de-aggro him. He's gonna come back, but I'm gonna, I don't care. And when you see those barrels here in my left, when you see those barrels, uh, there's a stair. There's some stairs going down to the boats. Okay, so we're essentially going to the lighthouse, to the boats and the lighthouse. And we're gonna go down to the boats. And so we're gonna just take those stairs down. They're behind the barrels. So when you see the barrels, you're gonna go to the left like this, down the stairs to the plank here to the plank to your left and the entrance of the boats is right here okay this is the door the entrance of the boat so just go and open it and here there's a small hallway of the boats here and a hanged body there okay. just go forward and open the door here we're gonna have a cutscene with Sybil, Sybil. and Dahlia after the, you skip this cutscene you're gonna be in this position you gotta turn to the left or you can also strafe to the left if you want like this and you're gonna open this door here it's your left okay uh, this is essentially the pier to the lighthouse so there's a lot of planks to cross here there, there are a few rompers that can aggro and that can be pretty bad and this part of the game you have to ideally do with your flashlight off so yeah it's pretty bad but I'm going to guide you with the flashlight on and I might get grabbed or hit by enemies which is not that big of a deal so from the boats from the door we're going to go to the left in the direction of the camera to this plank here okay 
and we're just gonna follow this path we're gonna go up the stairs here there's like a romper waiting for us waiting to troll us and now we're gonna go to the right to the other side of this section here I don't even know how to call this that's just my bad English uh, so there's a stairs there's some stairs here and there's a romper here as, as well which is not really cool but uh, we're gonna go down the stairs like this and to the right there's a plank we're gonna cross to the plank there's like another boat thing here so we're just gonna cro cross this planks here and now we're gonna go to the left and after this plank we're gonna go to the right small labyrinth but it's at the end of the day is pretty linear to be honest okay once again if it's too fast if, if it's too quick for you just roll back the video for like 10 20 seconds and watch it again uh, and play the game along with it okay use your pause and keep playing the game but this is pretty linear try to memorize this part I'm going to cover more in depth in the next videos once again I'm talking about this but that's pretty much it and oh this guy's uh, okay but I'm gonna go forward here and to your left after this there's so uh, there are some stairs here as well we're gonna go up the stairs okay like this so we're gonna turn to the left like a 180 go up the stairs and gonna turn to the right I'm 180 again to the right like this and you're gonna go up here and now I'm gonna go to the left and there are some stairs here at the end of the section so I'm gonna go down the stairs like 180 to the right okay and now I'm gonna do another 180 to the left this is not a 180 this is a 360 what am I what am I saying <laughs> I'm so sorry for that it's not a 180 anyway wait no this is a 180 not a 360 oh my god the Xbox 360 joke confused me okay this is actually a 180 I'm sorry uh, correcting myself recorrecting myself so just gonna go down this path okay in here after all of this gonna go forward and there are those there are those barrels here those two barrels and in front and behind those barrels there's another staircase so these barrels are basically your visual cue again to go up the stairs here go to the left here and here's the lighthouse this is your lighthouse so we're just gonna go up the stairs and uh, open the door here in the lighthouse we have some pretty specific movement here uh, and we're just gonna run like this up the stairs and it's going to reach to a point where we actually have to walk and then run again and that's actually faster and I'm gonna explain a little bit better later but uh, this is the best way of doing the lighthouse you run up up and it will come to a point halfway through it that you're gonna have to walk for a couple of steps and then you can just run again and this is faster and optimal trust me so here on top of the lighthouse as a cutscene with Alyssa Harry finds out that he's too late okay so from this cutscene you're gonna be here you're gonna strafe to the left like this and now you're gonna go down the stairs and once again, you kind of have to walk, but this time it's two portions here, two regions here. So you alternate between running and walk here in the lighthouse, essentially. That's the best movement. And then you can just leave the uh, lighthouse. And now all you're going to do, we're going to backtrack to the boat, but actually all you have to do is go forward here. Just go forward and the game will teleport you back to the boat. Thankfully, uh, you don't have to do that whole plank boat section again. Like, that's such a mess full of enemies. So, you can just go and have us teleport it back here to the boats. And we're going to go to the amusement park now. Okay, we're gonna go after Sybil because Harry thinks Sybil is in danger, and the, uh, the amusement park will be the next area that he needs to, to go to try and stop Alessa. So, from this door. 
you're gonna go after the cutscene you're gonna go to the left to this door here and we're backtracking uh, away from the boats now this time so we're exiting the boats from where we came from at the first time gonna go to the left through the plank and out to the right up the stairs there's a dog here to block us sometimes oh just like that <laughs> just like that and now we're just gonna go forward okay there's this guy hello it's not too pleased so here uh, we're going to go a little bit to the left a little bit not so much okay a little bit more than that and when you see this entrance here this is another waterworks this is another sewer and there's a open gate here uh, you're gonna go through the gates and you're going to check uh, this entrance here of the second sewers okay and now we have to go after Sybil and Sybil's not doing too well actually she's essentially possessed by a creature that uh, gets her here pretty bad so we're gonna have to deal with her now uh, but first we have another sewer so this is sewer part 2 and this is actually much easier than the part 1 it's much more linear as well and uh, so after the that cutscene and after going down the stairs you're going to go forward and then to the right so you're gonna maintain yourself to the right of this uh, of this hallway here of this room or whatever you want to call it and that guy sometimes blocks you like that guy to my left sometimes blocked me but it's not that big of a deal uh, so just maintain yourself to the right and now you're gonna go to the right uh, on this hallway here this hallway here okay and I was just forward and after the end of the hallway, here, okay, you're gonna take the right again. And slowly go into the other side of the hallway, dodging this uh, claw finger here at the same time. And now, here we've got a hallway to the right and a hallway to the left. Go to the hallway of the left, okay? Hallway to the right, there's nothing there. I'm not even sure if there's an actually a hallway there, but yeah. Go to your left. And now you're just gonna go forward. You're gonna dodge eventual claw fingers that we see here. This guy. So there's a hole to the left, and now there's a hole to the right. And now there's a hole in the middle. Just go around them. And you're gonna go up the stairs. So here is the amusement park. And we're going to do the second major glitch in the game the amusement park glitch. This is much more simpler. Uh, so. This glitch is going to skip the entirety of the amusement park session, plus the Sybil fights. So Sybil has been possessed. We have to fight Sybil, and then we have the option to save her if we picked up the red liquid in the hospital, the unknown liquid. And saving her is faster, uh, even if you don't do it, even if you do not do this glitch. But with this glitch is much faster. It's like 50 seconds faster, okay? And doing the glitch versus not doing the glitch is around 30 seconds faster. And we're going to use the red liquid, not on Sybil, but on the baby ghosts on the amusement park. Those creatures are called the larval stalkers. And you can actually use the red liquid on them. You can also use it on the great children, mumblers in the amusement park. Uh, but it's so hard to do that and so precise and have to do them after killing her killing them so uh, it, it's not what you want to do but it's actually possible uh, what you really want to do for the uh, for this uh, speed one uh, you're going to go to the first baby ghost the first larval stalker and use it on the first one it's to our right bring up the menu use the red liquid it's pretty simple and it's going to glitch the cutscene it's going to glitch uh, the cutscene where his, uh, Harry pours the liquid on Sybil and it's actually a pretty funny cutscene uh, and you can save a lot of time by doing that okay so after the sewers there's not a cutscene here I'm gonna skip it and we're gonna go to the right um, towards this uh, baby ghost creature here to the right 
And now to the left here. Uh, and there's the baby ghost. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see. But like he's under the P of the pals. It's like a, a black figure there. A, a, a translucent figure, right? Uh, this little guy here, okay? So we're going to bring up the menu. And we're going to use the unknown liquid on it. And that triggers the end of the symbol fight cutscene. And it also glitches this cutscene pretty badly. Okay? So this is the symbol glitch. This is how you do it. And just for. Uh, okay, I'll leave this. I'll leave this to play. Wake up. Snap I'll leave this. Sybil. Harry. This cutscene really never gets what out, happened? so. Yeah. Shh. Don't talk. I'll take care of you. So that's that's how you do it, okay? Now you skip this cutscene, and there are a few cutscenes here to skip, so that, that was the f that there are two there, okay? This is another one. And this is Harry confronting Alessa. This next one. Okay, we'll skip this one. And there will be two more cutscenes here, so we're gonna be teleported to nowhere, quite literally. So there's a pre rendered where with Harry waking up. And there's Lisa behind him. And there's another cutscene with Lisa here. And yeah, we're going to skip this one as well. And now we're in the last area of the game, it's called Nowhere. It actually, it's called it is actually called Nowhere, okay? And this part is very confusing. It's actually pretty technical and pretty tough to do. Uh, it's pretty easy to show here, especially on good paces. But I just follow what I'm gonna uh, show you. And uh, this is the definition of non-linear uh, section of the game. But in the speed run, it is pretty linear. Okay. All right. So from the cutscene with Lisa. I'm gonna go forward to this door here, and here there's another hallway and another cutscene here, and this cutscene marks the actual entrance of nowhere. I'm being summoned. Okay. Well, there will be the nowhere elevator or the nowhere entrance. This this is actually a non-functional elevator. So, this nowhere is basically called like this because it unites a few parts of the game under no uh, logic, under no physical logic, and no, uh, under no logic at all. So we've got the hallway of the hospital, you've got a classroom, you've got a jewelry store from the shopping mall, you've got the antique shop, a, lot, a few areas of, of uh, you've got the altar of the antique shop as well, a few areas throughout the, um, th the game, okay? So... We're gonna start from here, and we're gonna follow this hallway here until the end, until the last door to the right of the hallway. This door here, okay? This one to the right. Now enter, and this is, leads down to the basement, okay? Open this door, go forward, and here we are actually in the classroom. In the classroom. So we're gonna go left, forward to the door here of the classroom, the other door. And we're gonna go forward in this room. And we're going to pick up the screwdriver and the pliers. We're gonna quick turn and go back to the classroom and go backtrack to the same door, go up the stairs, back to the main hallway. Okay, this is how I'm going to refer to this hallway here. And there are going to be two nurses here now can just easily dodge them and now we're going to go to this door here okay uh, so we follow the hallway and then go to the right to this door here and there's a nurse in front of this door sometimes she, I don't think she ever actually blocks you like the doctor in the hospital but yeah for reference it is the the door to the right where the nurse is pretty much uh, in front of in front of okay so we're gonna open this door, 
and you're gonna go full gonna go forward in a little bit to the right kind of like this gonna bring up the menu here go to the left and use the pliers uh, and you're gonna use them in the faucets of this um, bathroom here or whatever shower room and this uh, gives you a key the key of Alfio pick up the key quick turn leave the room now we're gonna go to the left and there's a double door here the door for reference is one door after the double door so you follow the hallway to the left it's one do one door after the double door it's this marked door here written off field on the entrance okay so we're gonna use the key of off field and now the first thing that we're going to do is go forward so there is another double door here and you're going to take actually the single door okay right on, on the side of this double door so we're gonna go forward and to the left to this door here okay in here we've got the zodiac puzzle and this this puzzle has actually nothing to do with zodiac uh, there are some pictures here okay so this is the picture of a centaur and you're going to input the number of arms and legs that the picture has so in the case of a centaur it has six in the case of a bull I think this is a bull it has four and the case of uh, two children two babies Gemini they have eight that's the solution it's always the same no RNG and you reward this turn of time and we're going to use it later we're gonna go we're gonna leave the room and here we're gonna go forward to the right so this there's a door there but on the right side of the door there's a pad here and this puzzle here is the alert puzzle usually you have to look at a list that's to our uh, to our left uh, but it's a puzzle involving like that list the names of the people there you have to insert the first uh, letter of their names from youngest to oldest but that is special that essentially spells alert so we're going to spell alert this is called the alert puzzle so a l e r n t and that unlocks the door so just straight to the left to this door right here okay so we're gonna go forward to the door here and you're gonna go forward and pick up this item here amulet of solomon so now where you're going to pick up five of those special religious artifacts or religious items okay this is essentially the objective of the final area of the game to unlock the final door of the game so this is the first I'm gonna quick turn and leave the room and here we have the cutscene where Lisa uh, dies essentially so this is essentially the last time that we see her okay Harry will be facing the door where he came from so we're going to quick turn and leave to this so there are two bathrooms here okay two bathrooms it's the second one It's the furthest one from the door that we were okay go and we are back in the main hallway again so we're gonna turn to the left and go forward so there's this double door okay to the left but we're going to pick up we're going to open the door right after the double door this one okay this one here okay to our left last door to the left and this is actually this is actually the antique shop so we're going to go to this clock here and we're going to use this stone of time to the uh, in the clock and the clock is going to give us yeah thanks it's going to give us the key of Haggath after exploding on our face uh, and this is going to unlock another door in the main hallway okay so we're gonna leave the antique shop 
And by the way, in this anti shop room here, you have a first aid if you really need, and if you have uh, shotgun shells here, if you feel like you uh, spent too much shotgun shells. So you, this is a pretty good pickup, honestly. So they are right here for you to pick up if you need. So we're gonna open the door, go uh, to the right, okay? Follow the hallway, and now we're gonna go to the very last door of, of, of the hallway, which is written Haggath. I'm gonna open this, okay? And now we're gonna go to the right, and there's an elevator. So we're going to use the elevator and go to the third floor. Third floor, okay? And here in the third floor, we have the light puzzle. Usually you have to pick the camera and then you use the flash of the camera and the pictures of the wall that reviews the pictures that you have to input for the two doors, okay? You don't have to go to the door of the right, so you're gonna go to the door of the left. We're gonna go to the door here in the left. And here's the combination, okay? This here is an inverted L, okay? So like this. And you're gonna go up here. And this is a, uh, well, you we can say that this is an F. It's one way of saying. But the picture is actually um, a triangle pointing up left, okay? And this last one is a uh, arrow pointing down left, okay? The last input is this one. So, this is actually the picture that you draw, okay, for the last one, for the uh, uh, for the down left picture here, okay? It's an arrow pointing down left, okay? So once again, inverted L, triangle pointing up left, and an arrow pointing down left. And this is the picture. Th those are the pictures. And you open this up a little bit to the right. And there's the birdcage key, you're going to pick up, quick turn, out of the room, back to the elevator. Out of the room, go to the right, to the elevator. And now, we're going to go to the pad, and we're going to go to the second floor. To the left, go to this. And now we're gonna go to the left here. And this nurse on the left, that's right in front of us is actually on front in front of the room that we actually need to go and we're going to kill this nurse uh, it's going to take another two shotgun shells uh, to kill her we're going to kill her and go through the room okay so like this and we're gonna go to this room here okay right in front of her and this is actually the jewelry room uh, we didn't go through this room because this was in the shopping mall but here there are a couple items that you want to pick up so uh, there's the Ring of Contract, it's a pretty, very important item, mandatory. And there is the Crest of Mercury, okay, so pick up both of those items and leave the room. And I gotta go to the left, if you leave the room, to the left and forward, left, right, forward, following the hallway to this double door here. And I'm gonna go, use your analog stick for this, go forward, to this double door here. And this, with this, you are actually back to the main hallway, okay? We're in this double door of the hallway here, the main hallway. Uh, stop knifing me. After crossing this double door, you're gonna go to the left, okay? Uh, so we're gonna go to the left and forward. Towards this door here is the door close. The door closest to the first elevator. The the door closest to the starting area, the starting point of nowhere. The blue nurse there, the blue shirt nurse is very close to it. So this is the one with the um, uh, bird cage. So we're going to use the bird cage key on this one. And inside of the bird cage, there's another key, key of failing. And we're going to use this key of failing right away. After leaving this room, I'm gonna take the room immediately to our right and we're going to unlock it with the key of failing. This is the hallway of failing and this is the last hallway of the game, okay? And in this hallway, uh, we're going to be introduced to 
the stalkers. So the stalkers are essentially an invisible enemy. They are actually translucent, but you cannot see them very well. Uh, so they are the kids of the school with the texture of the larval stalker, so that's why they're called stalker. And uh, they're pretty tough to deal with. I'm going to teach um, how to deal with them pretty well. I actually have a video on how to do the, the nowhere dodge. I'm going to talk about the nowhere dodge soon. But uh, it just always this guy is pretty easy to deal with. There's only one of them. So this guy is pretty easy to deal with. All you have to do is hug the wall and go fast. You don't even have to turn off your flashlights for now. But as you go get to the this uh, hallway, the nurses would be no more. They won't be on the, the main hallway anymore. And the uh, nowhere enemies will be now the stalkers. And as you get to this room, you're going to go to the first room to your right, okay? So it's this door right here, the first door to the right. And this is the kitchen, the kitchen of the hospital. And the chain's missing a link. So you're going to take the dagger of Melchior, but before you do anything, you're gonna bring up your menu, use the ring of contracts to tie the chains, and you're going to leave the room. If you do not use the ring of contracts, you die. This is the second insta kill of the game. The first was split head, and it's mandatory that you put the ring of contracts uh, after taking the dagger of Melchior or before taking the dagger of Melchior. Okay, if you try to leave the room without putting the ring of contract there, if you pick the dagger of Melchior on the on the kitchen, you're going to die. Okay, so you need that that ring of contract. Now you're gonna quick turn and leave the room. And you're gonna go to the room immediately to the right, okay? So it's the room immediately to our right. And this is the storage room, and you're gonna go to the left in the between those uh, shelves here. And there's a pack of jelly beans. And inside of the pack of jelly beans, you've got a key, key of Bether. And we're going to use this key uh, pretty much right away. But first, we're going to leave the room and go to the room immediately to uh, forward. So this room here, and there's another cutscene with Alyssa here, and this room is like the attic room, and uh, in this room to our left there is an ink, so it's another one of those items, the second to last one. I'm gonna quick turn and leave the room, and now we're gonna go to the room immediately to our right. Okay, this one, and now we're gonna use the key of bathroom in this room. So we're doing the rooms in an optimal route, okay? And this is actually a generator room, and the generator is working and we're going to turn it off. And the reason why we're going to turn off the generator is because there's one key, the final key of the game is um, electrified. There are some wires on the key, and if you turn off the generator, uh, you can actually pick up the key um, without, you know, well, Harry would not try to pick up the key if it's electrified, so to progress to the game, you have to turn off this generator. That turns off the uh, elevator, so that's why you unlock a double door to the second and first uh, floor, but we, we have already done that, okay? Quick turn out of this room. And now we're gonna go to the door immediately to our right. We're gonna leave this hallway, okay? So this door here, immediately to our right. And now we're gonna take the double door to our right, okay? And now we're gonna go left to the end of the hallway, and here is where you're going to have two uh, stalkers uh, in a very specific position. And there's a strategy here that you can use to dodge those stalkers. I'm going to talk. Um, about that a little bit better in the next videos again but I do have a video tutorial on how to do this and this is what we call the nowhere dodge uh, I have a very good and very consistent strat for this here and I think it's worth going for and I, I'm going to leave that video in the description of this uh, video as well okay
in the, the link for that video in the description of this video uh, so you have more details on this dodge but dodging uh, translucent enemies is not an easy task but with that proper setup uh, it's 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 doable and it's pretty consistent I think it's worth going for so we're going to do this right now or at least try so turn up the lights like this and there you go uh, so I I just dodged two essentially invisible enemies and what are you doing here you're going to the left following the hallway to the last door okay of this hallway here that door and here we have another room here uh, the room with the steel uh, the steel plates. Uh, you don't have to check the steel plates at all. You're going to bring up the menu here as you hit the steel plate, and you're going to use the screwdriver to unscrew it from the wall. And you go a little bit forward here, and this is the key that I said it was electrified, electrified by some wires or attached to some electrified wires or whatever. Key of Electron is the last key of the game. We're going to pick it up, quick turn out of the room, and leave the room. And after after we leave the room, we're gonna go to the right, back to the double door. So there you go. And you don't really have to turn off your lights here, or dodge those enemies. As long as you don't do a wide turn there, you're not going to get grabbed. Like the odds are so so small. Uh, so most like pretty much every time you're not going to get grabbed coming out of that room if you're fast enough and do the proper movement. Okay, but I recommend. Uh, I recommend pretty strongly for you to practice the nowhere dodge and once again I'm leaving the link for the video explaining it um, in the description of this video I made the video I made that video when I discovered the trick so it's a little bit unpolished but um, that video the video gets it right so the video has the instructions for you to practice and do it pretty well okay so we're gonna go back to this double door here it's the last door to your right and there are going to be two enemies here but you don't really have to worry about them if you're fast all we're gonna do is go to the left back to the phalag hallway okay oh yeah go to the door so go to the left to the phalag hallway okay I like to turn off my lights here uh, to dodge this guy so you're gonna turn off your lights and go to the hallway otherwise you're gonna get grabbed like I did it's not good okay so it's good to turn off your lights here go to the left of this guy and there are two doors here in this hallway that we did not visit there is one door to the right and there is one door to the left and we're going to firstly go to the door of the right this one we're going to use the key of Arathron here and there is a cutscene with Dahlia and uh, Kaufman and cult, uh, cult members Everything. we're going to skip it and here we are in the uh, Lessa's room of the hospital or what's supposed to represent it. We're going to go uh, to the right of this chair here and we're going to pick up the last item in the game. It's called the Disco Boroboros, okay? Uh, try not to hit the portrait of Alyssa. <laughs> That's pretty bad if you do it. So pick up the disc, quick turn, leave the room and now we're going to go to the room of the left. So it's the room, this one, this door here. Okay, right in front of us. And this is the last, essentially the last room of the game. This is Alessa's room. Uh, and in this door here, this door is locked. And in this door you have to put those five items here that we collected across nowhere. Okay, so we're going to bring up the menu. Uh, use the Amulet of Solomon. Okay, bring up the menu again. Use the second, third, and fourth, and fifth item. Okay, Crest of Mercury. Menu, Ink, Menu, Dagger of Melchior, and finally the Disc of Ouroboros, and now the door is going to be unlocked. Alright, so all there is left is the final boss of the game. The game is at the end, so we're going to skip this cutscene with Dahlia and uh, Alessa, and gotta go to the right here, the doors are not, the, you cannot unlock those doors, so I'm gonna go to the right down the stairs. And the final boss, it's very, very simple, okay? Very, very simple. All you are going to do in this vice, you are going to press the aim button, okay? And you're gonna walk forward four steps, walk four steps after pressing the aim button, and you're going to wait 
until the boss charges the lightning. And the boss here in question is going to be Incubator. It's Celeste's mother god form, whatever you want to call it. But the official name is Incubator, so that's how we call it. Uh, you really don't want to uh, step more than four steps because uh, if you do that, you're going to hit her barrier and it's going to mess the entire fight up. Okay? So, aim, walk four steps and wait until she charges the lightning, until she starts charging the lightning because when uh, Incubus and Incubator, the, fin the two final bosses for the game are charging their lightning, you are dealing critical damage to them essentially this means that you're dealing 10 times more damage like essentially it is, it is that much and uh, um, this allows the fights to end in 4, 5 or 6 shots it's that good, it's that simple so, uh, that's how you do it, okay? Yeah, I'm going to do it only once, so pay attention to it. You're going to do exactly as I say. Aim, walk four steps forward, wait until she's charged the lightning, and shoot. She starts charging the lightning. Don't want to get hit. So, you're going to skip a cutscene. Skip the cutscene. So, aim. One, two, three, four. Wait. Charges the lightning and he shoots. And that's Silent Hill. That's new game easy. She can die in four, five, or six shots if you proceed on that way, okay? Yeah. It's pretty simple, pretty simple final fight. Sure. Two hours and 11 minutes. It's what I was expecting for this tutorial. Uh, I know this is a pretty long tutorial. I know it was actually pretty quickly going through the game, but that's the any percent route as we um, as we do now. Cheryl, Cheryl, and there you go. Uh, one last thing: if you're submitting to the leaderboards and if you want your run to be valid, you need the footage to show all the way up to the result screen because what really counts for your run it's the in-game time of the result screen okay so you have to this is an unskippable cutscene so you have to go through the credits you can skip the credits and you go through this cutscene and this is true for every single category in this game go. I believe that's true as well for uh, at least the first four Silent Hill games so the result screen needs to be on your footage, okay? It needs to be on your footage. It's mandatory. It's a rule of the game. Of the leaderboards. So, let's skip the bloopers here. And you're gonna have your result screen right here. Right? So, there you go. Uh, 1 hour 41, 49, <laughs> that was my uh, time there, pretty bad, <laughs> uh, but in a speed run your time should be much better than that. Uh, so what matters for your speed run is this total time there, 1 hour 40, 41 minutes 49 seconds was mine for this playthrough, let's say. And um, one more thing, I want to thank you now for watching the, the video, okay? Uh, I, I'm sorry for m my bad English, my English is not the best, uh, I tried my best to explain with my own words uh, my understanding of the routes, and I hope this was, was uh, useful in some way, okay? And in the next videos, we're going to cover the game in depth, we're going to cover each section of the game, starting from the intro, and then we're going to go to the school, the hospital, the resort area and so on. Uh, I'm going to leave uh, the links for the Out of Bounds uh, tutorial and the Nowhere Dodge tutorials as well because those I have already done. Uh, and I hope this is helpful for you in your um, attempts for speedrunning this game. Whatever the goal it is, if you just want to do it for fun, if you actually want to compete and get uh, good places in the leaderboard, okay? If you have anything that you want to ask me, you can ask me on my social media, you can come to my Twitch channel uh, and, and Discord, 
Twitter or whatever and you can ask uh, you can ask me uh, whatever whatever you want to uh, I am always open for uh, for any questions and suggestions that you might have anything you want to talk about the game anything you want to talk about the run and about the leaderboards uh, you can reach to me I am always available to talk about this I love to change this game and we're going to cover uh, the game much more in depth for the mar for the other videos so I'm going to every single um, every single little strats of the of the run every single thing to dodge enemies to make do puzzles um, to go through rooms optimally movements I'm going to cover everything that I know as well as the other categories as well uh, in the future I'm going to cover do videos covering good plus UFO and even 10 star and knife only um, in the future but right and right now I'm going to focus on the main category okay thank you so very much for watching once again I hope this video was uh, clear as best as I could do it <laughs> and I hope it was helpful and I hope uh, you can get to Silent Hill speedrunning by watching this video so thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions again hit me on, on uh, whatever you want um, DM me or whatever but yeah thank you guys and have a good one